Hey guys, this is Jackie, your Nerdy Crafter. When I was a kid, I loved dinosaurs. I mean loved dinosaurs. I had dinosaur everything. Stickers, erasers, coloring books. When I was four years old, I even shoplifted an eraser. A T-Rex one. It was purple. But I got caught. And I got punished because the storekeeper told my mom. But that being said, dinosaurs and dragons are not necessarily the same, obviously. But they have the same kind of feel to them. And so, How to Train Your Dragon is a really cool concept because I really would have loved to have a pet dragon or dinosaur. This week's tutorial, many of you guys requested something from How to Train Your Dragon. More specifically, Toothless. And so for this week, you guys are getting a chibi toothless charm. You can make this into a pendant, a magnet, a keychain, anything you want depending on the size. If you want to make this into a necklace, all you have to do is put in a chain. Like this. Now the choice is entirely up to you. You can do the arms crossed like I did for the tutorial, or you can do them apart. Here's what you'll need for this project. Black, brown, rounded and pointy tools, a cutter, black, yellow, white, acrylic paint, an eye pin or a connector, rubbing alcohol and a q-tip to clean up your piece. The first thing you're going to do is make a small ball with your black clay and make a kind of chubby teardrop shape with it. Like so. Now you don't want to flatten the top. Make sure that you keep it still rounded. Now take two fingers from two different hands and push on each side of the face. We want to create the dents where the eyes are. So you get a dent like this. Now make two tiny little teardrops and place them right in the middle of the top of the head. Like so. Now make two bigger ones and place them on each side of those little ones. So far so good. Now with your black clay again, make a chubby teardrop. Make sure that one end is thicker than the other and lightly flatten it down from the sides. Remember, you don't want to flatten things up from the top, from the sides. Before you flatten it, make sure you put it at a curve. Once you have this part done, start pinching close to the end and create a longer tail. Now you have the body. Now at this point, feel free to put in your connector or your eye pin. For the arms, make two longer teardrop shapes and you're going to flatten down each one the same way we did the body. So you don't want to flatten it down, you want to flatten it from the sides. Now to place the arms, take one, place it in front of the curve of where the head would be and turn it in. Now put the other arm as well, like so, so that the front view looks like he's putting one hand over the other. Before we place the head, take your rubbing alcohol and q-tip and clean up your piece from any fingerprints or dust particles. Once he's all cleaned up, take the head and place it right in between where the arms join. And lightly press down where the eye sockets are, that way you're not flattening out the piece. Keep going. Now make quite a few small spikes and place them alongside the back. But since you want the back to look like it's curved, you're going to start from the top and then make it go onto the side. So start right behind the neck and then make it swerve right until where the pin is. There you go. Now take your tail and make a swerve out of it. Make sure that you keep the bottom part straight so that we can put the tail. Now make some really tiny little nails and place them at the end of the hand. Now for the wing, you're going to take a flat teardrop shape and start flattening it with your fingers. All the while you're going to make three points. So make sure you flatten it out first and then you're going to shape it. So you're getting something like this. Clean it up with your rubbing alcohol and q-tip. Once it's cleaned out, roll out three really thin snakes and place one at each end of each tip and make them join at the point of the teardrop. Now take your wing and place it high up enough on the back. It's looking really cute. Now for his tail, we're going to flatten out a small piece of black Cut a straight line on one end and then zigzags on the other side. Now take your brown clay and do exactly the same thing, but mirror. Now take your tail pieces and put one on each side of the tail. Now take two thin brown snakes and wrap them around the tail. 
Now one last time, take your rubbing alcohol and Q-tip and clean it up. Then you're going to bake it at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Here he is all baked. And what we're going to do is take our yellow paint and make leaf-shaped eyes. Once that's dry, make an upside down black triangle and then take your white paint and make a small dot right next to that black triangle. Then you're going to take your black paint again, mix in just a little bit of white in it so that it has a different shade of black and then make spots where necessary on toothless. Ta-da! Let it completely dry, glaze it, and then feel free to put your favorite chain. I forgot to add one small detail before putting into the oven. Make sure that you add the side spikes on each side of his face. All done! Now what's your favorite dragon type or dinosaur? Let me know. For more than obvious reasons, mine is a pterodactyl. Now remember, if you have suggestions for future geeky tutorials, leave them in the comment section below. And if you haven't added me on Facebook, Twitter, DeviantArt, Instagram, and Tumblr now. So I have Tumblr, but I'm really new at using it, so be patient. Make sure you add me. Until then, I will see you guys next week.